welcome to my channel coder block so in this video uh, we will do we will use a flutter block for a list like if we update a list with a new data so that data should be reflected in a ui and we will do this process with the help of flutter block right so in the comment section one person asked to use block with this list so we will do that in this video so this is the uh, simple app uh, if you did not know what I have done in this uh, app so you can watch my previous video in which I use block pattern for a counter application as I am using block for list so let me create a new class that will be list qubit and dot dot uh, let's write here a class name list qubit and that's it and extend that with the with the qubit and now import a library and also make this uh, qubit uh, specific data type give it a specific data type of list of string so a list will contain a string so as it is qubit is an abstract class so we need to implement one of its method and it is its constructor and constructor require initial value or initial stat uh, so at here we will pass empty uh, list then let's write one method so that method will add data to list right so so right here what we will do uh, we will just pass any random value to a list so I will write here state so state will return me a list and then I will add any random value for example add new value right so this value will be added in a list so then I will use emit emit will update uh, everything including the UI so the changes happen will be updated with the help of emit so in the emit I pass the state but uh, let me do in this way because like uh, in the inside the list any value update uh, so that update is not detected by the emit so we need to uh, write uh, code like this list of so it will take list as a new list in this way it will detect the changes and then it will uh, reflect that and that changes in a ui right so the class work is done now let's uh, write this block uh, now let's uh, use this class uh, list qubit in the ui so what i will do here uh, here is the column so inside a column i will use a list view builder so add here i will write list view builder so it will be a list view and it will take data from a list so list view builder will uh, require builder item builder then uh, let me add here comma okay so i will it uh, require two things one is context and one is index so add here i am adding the text widget so text will have uh, some data so i will write that data later okay that's done now just wrap this list view builder with a widget and write here block builder right and block builder uh, is a builder so it will require a builder and builder require two things context and state okay so that's great now we have to write here a specific data after the block builder like uh, which class 
I am using or which data type the class is using so this is my class name and this is the data type list of string right so this is important to mention after the block builder okay this is perfect now uh, let's uh, update the block provider as we are using uh, two uh, block builder one for list and one for counter so add here we will use uh, block builder we will wrap uh, block builder with widget and make it multi block provider okay so it will have provider list so we will remove the uh, child from here and then add here we will add the uh, block provider over here right okay so first of all we added the multi block provider then inside we use property provider which accept list of block provider we pass first uh, block provider for counter now let's pass provider for list so i will write here block provider and then i will use for a list list of list qubit and it will need any initial value initial stat for that i will pass empty list okay that's perfect so now add here when the plus button is pressed so in that case this method will be executed uh, which will add uh, any random value to a list so i will write here context dot read and then i will use a uh, list then qubit then add to list method right so it will add data to a list now let's rerun the program and i found the error so okay there is a problem add here in the list view builder to solve this error i need to pass shring wrap to true right and also add here some padding of 18 right now add here i will use item count then item count will need any value to define the size of the list view for that i will use list view, list size so for list i will use state it will return the list and then i will use uh, length so this length will give me the size of the list and add here in the text i will pass the uh, list first then i will use the element add method which will require index and at that index it will return the data of a string because i have a string of list so text will have particular uh, data of a particular index in a list and uh, the size of the list view will be equal to the 
size of the list right so now when you rerun the application you will get this when i click on the plus button so it will also increment the counter and also add any data in a list so you can see that there is a list and here is the value add new value then when i click the button again and again the list is updated with a new value so in this way you can use list in your application with the help of flutter blog right so thank you for watching the video so i will see you in the next video bye bye